Good Monday rainy morning to you. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com. It represents 802 Toyota, Twin City Subaru, and 802 Honda. They are all located off of exit 7 on Interstate 89. Broad picture here, we can see the warming that's taking place over the Sahara and parts of the Middle East, a little bit of a weather system that's working along the eastern Mediterranean. Some more around the Atlas Mountains of uh, Algeria and Morocco area there. Uh, a couple weather systems, uh, basically one spinning off the uh, coast of uh, Labrador, and uh, this one is uh, covering most of the North Atlantic circulation. We have some thunderstorms mainly confined to the southeast United States, a weather system working through northeast U.S. as we speak, and that's situated with a very broad area of low pressure way up into uh, Canada. And the west coast has a strong ridge of higher pressure, and then lesser systems across the Pacific than there were uh, about one week or two weeks ago, where there were numerous areas of lower pressure and a lot of cutoff lows. So things are beginning to settle down in the northern hemisphere. The tropics remain quiet, and you can see the inner uh, tropical convergence zone, the ITCZ, and uh, right now, no real strong easterly waves to worry about. The tropics across the Atlantic Hurricane Basin are quiet. And the Velka Weather Hazards Outlook uh, impacts here, uh, very little uh, of anything to worry about for this particular period. Looks like a little something for everyone, but staying generally moderate or temperate. The main utility concern is later this week for gradient wind gusts. Uh, there will be a southeasterly flow developing on Thursday afternoon. This could bring some marginal gusts along western slopes of the Green Mountains, something we'll keep a close eye on. Showery weather may, uh, system uh, may include a few weak rumbles of thunder. This would happen on Thursday and into Friday, uh, but it's not a certainty at this point. And the best project weather days are definitely Tuesday tomorrow. That will last into Wednesday. And again, possibly on Saturday, making it a dry day. Overall, not an impactful weather week ahead for utilities. And currently, we're dealing with uh, this moisture that's kind of being strung off around these thunderstorms off the southern parts of the U.S. And uh, temperatures advecting into the region in the 50s. It's all being controlled by this large swirl, this uh, big gyre of upper-level low that's uh, located northwest, uh, northeast of Minnesota in uh, Ontario. And uh, this is going to be controlling our weather influence for a little while. Some drier weather is going to be switching across the region. That's going to bring us uh, a couple fairly nice days with some weak, weak ridging of higher pressure. Okay, the six hourly panels of the European model shown here. This is uh, valid uh, later this evening. You can see showers still sweeping through the region. They start to wind down and uh, dry up. And then by the overnight period into tomorrow morning, things are looking pretty good for the state of Vermont. And notice this large dry slot, slot that's been spinning around this upper level system. So uh, it's uh, one that's going to bring us some dry weather. This is going to include all day Saturday, excuse me, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night, as well as into the day on Wednesday. Finally, by the time we get into Wednesday evening, we start to see the approach of a weather system. This is uh, now valid about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. So it'll make a run at us, it looks like, with the arrival time somewhere along uh, Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. This could include a couple rumbles of thunder, nothing serious. Then we have uh, also a development of area of low pressure being indicated, uh, kind of nor a nor'easter, if you will, a very weak one. And uh, most of the thunderstorm activity at this point is going to be held to the south, but one or two could form. And just to run that again, there comes that nor'eastern. You could see slightly higher embedded precipitation amounts here. And then that begins to pull away for Saturday, which should be a dry day. Ridge of higher pressure begins to build in. That includes, it looks like, uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning before showers and potentially some thunderstorm activity could reach us along about later in the afternoon on Sunday. This is the European uh, meteogram uh, from today, and you can see the showery conditions, then a drying out, and then a return to rain or showers for Thursday into Friday. This looks like Saturday. This uh, is our Sunday business. And then looking at the GFS, and you can see some differences here. Generally, if you look at the bars of rain, you can see that uh, precipitation is much lighter 
as we get into basically the day on uh, Thursday and then a little heavier during Thursday night into the overnight period on Friday. And this is back to the European here, GFS here. Weather Prediction Center, 7-day total QPF, accumulated precipitation amounts. Uh, you see the uh, half-inch line in green here. This is 1 inch, 1.5 inches, and 2 inches. So we're in that 1 to 2 inch category, a little bit less in the northern areas, a little bit more in southern areas as it looks right now. Okay, next five days of weighted maximum temperatures only, not minimums, just maximums. This is what uh, the latest guidance is, uh, basically neutral to a little bit below normal. We get uh, three days later, not much of a change, neutral to a little bit off the coast, just a little bit colder. But uh, more or less uh, start trying to uh, weigh this out as uh, near normal. Quick look at the uh, GFS ensemble shows uh, this uh, morning's precipitation. A little bit returned this afternoon, carries into the evening hours. Then a period of drier weather with the GFS ensemble, basically Tuesday and into the day on Wednesday. It's later in the day on Thursday we start to see a return of precipitation with the next weather system that could, could include a few rumbles of thunder. Again, not a certainty at this point. And it looks like a drier day on Saturday. And then some more gibberish here. Too far out to uh, really become uh, too set in cement at this point. And last but not least, uh, temperatures. Warmest day coming, it looks like, at least for the Burlington area. This is the GFS Ensemble, around 75 degrees. That will happen on Wednesday. So we have two dry days of a uh, little bit of sunshine mixed in with some high cloudiness. And then uh, it looks like the next weather system arrives on Thursday. It'll be a much cooler day and so forth. Same thing on Friday. Saturday looks like a little bit better day. Some indications, some of the model runs are indicating temperatures up around 75. It might be a little hard to do. And then uh, the temperatures kind of stay there. And this is probably another threat for where we could see maybe some embedded thunderstorms as we get into basically Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. That's it from here. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights. Thanks for watching.